George comes off the screen. This is to Beverly, who missed the last couple of ball games with a sore groin. Miss Byers there, Clippers with a rebound. Paul George fouled on the way up here to the line for two. Even Patrick Beverly taking his threes occasionally. Imagine Lou Williams joining that group. Bunch of firepower. 10 nothing run for the Clippers, and they look to add to it here. Decisions, and he's 6 3. Zubats in traffic, winds up on his wallet. Extra pass from Barnes to Bogdanovich for three, his second triple of the quarter. A late scratch in the starting lineup. Landry Shamit got the nod instead. Lower back stiffness from Kawhi. His return is questionable. He did participate this morning. I like the way the big man went after that one. Lou Williams in there. There is the big man. Oh, the feathery touch for Abita Zubats, but he can't get it to go. Did two things. He got the rebound first, then ran that center lane sprint, got himself right in front of the rim, made himself big, and they rewarded him with the basketball. Fox bouncing into Zubats, misses wildly. An ambitious drive by Fox. Here come the Clippers. George splits a pair of defenders, and then the shot blocked out of bounds. Well, isn't that nice to see that move? Been watching some green videos. We've seen that a few times over the last couple of years. Deadman for three rattles it in. Lou drifting. Shot is blocked by Joseph. And now the King's off and running. Shot clock is dark. Joseph runs into Magruder. A whistle in effect. Paul George is in the lineup tonight. First game since January 5th. Deadman left alone for three. Lou to Trez, and Deadman with that long reach of his, able to create the deflection in the turtle. And you see how hard it is for a big man to make it right back to Kings, and throw him back down the rim. Team players in NBA history two nights ago to score 42 or more in a game off the bench in Minnesota. Another near turnover by the Clippers. It'll stay. Looks so lucky on that one because the defender on the screen was laying way back. Reverse layup for Lou. Nine of the 13 shots that Sacramento has made have been tripled. Joseph tries for another one and knocks it in. Last night, Paul George creates space, brings a three. George in his return, first game since January 5th, just one for five. Fox for three. Hit one earlier, boy, when he gets it going. As I mentioned earlier, this time they're playing from out in front. Shamit. Looking one of those dead looks right at the basket. Balls on the rim and rolls off rather than roll in. Fox. Tough pass to Bialica. Intercepted by Zubats. And here come the Clippers. And this is where you'd like to push a little bit. Try and get one spot for first in line privileges to 2021 season tickets. When you make your deposit today, you'll also get priority access to 2020. Playoff tickets. Not the norm. You see Paul George gets around Barnes, gets down the lane, leaves it short. And Fox is fouled by Beverly before the team first half points. He shoots just 33% from above the arc. He was four of five in the first half. Deadman. That's a travel. That's a travel first. They barely got that ball unbound before the five count. De'Aaron Fox back to Deadman. The runner is good for Dwayne Deadman. Seven point. Lou. Dances on the dribble. Drives the lane. Bogdanovich to Barnes to the rim with the right hand and leaves it in. Timeout Clippers. Most threes in the game is this year. I'm going to guess for Sacramento, this ties it, I guess. Well, there's another one going. And now that is a season high for Sacramento. Right now, you are the most, the most this season, 25. Why? Well, I'll let you guess, and you'll get one right. Do they want to pay him? He's going to make a lot of money. He's the guy that you would want on your team. If you want to make that next leap. Yield Miss Fires rebound inside by Deadman. Whistle and a foul. Seven, eight out of ten nights.
On a regular basis, he makes shots. He can put the ball down the floor. He can play more than just one position. Now, can he help you win? That's the question. Do I need to organize a wake-up call for you for the game on Saturday? It is a 12.30 tip. I advise. Well, I appreciate the thoughtfulness of your comments. And I really look forward to that game because those are games where, in all honesty, teams have to really mentally be ready for those early starts. You're not used to that. You might practice at that time. You're not ready to play a game normally at that time. But, you know, I still always say to the team, listen, when you made them went to Dallas and then from Dallas winds up in Sacramento, just how good a player Really He's kind of struggled in the team shots a game. That's not your role. We have some other guys that are pretty good at doing that. You just play defense, and you have to chip in with a big bucket here or there. Run the floor, you'll be okay, and we'll win games. He hit more than a couple of game winners for Golden State in his time there. 116 to 95. Clippers actually led by 10 in the first half, would trail by 20 in the same half. They have been in the rearview mirror really ever since. Trying to make some noise, could never string together a few buckets with a few stops. Dwayne Dedman sends.